I love jumping over lasers. And, you know, sometimes, just for fun, I, I, I jump into them. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, hey, what's up? Grapefruit here on the Annoying Orange Gaming Channel. The greatest gaming channel run by a bunch of All fruits right. on the YouTubes yeah, we'll and we're playing Escape from the Underwater Base. And it's a productive Mr. Duck Arby, so you know it's going to be good. Look out for the lasers! Oh, I tripped over it and then it exploded my body. How unfortunate for me. But we're escaping from the Underwater Base. It's a lair, if you will. Okay, so look at this. It's kind of like you got to use your Arby skills. Oh, because it's an Arby. That, that, that would be, you know, part of... Part of the course, or par for the course, and, you know, pretty much standard fare here, we're playing checkers. And, uh, I like Productive Mr. Duck's obbies because they're always so creative. Look out for the fireballs. Oh my gosh. Don't hit me, fireballs! Okay, I jumped over the fireballs. That was very good by me. And, uh, yeah, so they're very original. They have a different kind of landscape than most obbies, and you can see what this guy's saying here. Hello, I'm awesome, blah, blah, blah. Nice goggles, by the way. And, uh, can I take that with me? I want to take that gun! Guess I can't. Let us press on in the underwater base! We are pressing on. I, I guess I can't go through that wall. Okay, I gotta, gotta rock the tightrope here! Alright, we're going to the central mechanism. And uh, as you can see, this... Oh, this actually reminds me of sort of epic mini games. In the epic mini games, you got laser things that are coming and try to kill you. And you gotta walk around, things like that. Although it's a lot harder in epic mini games than this. I have passed! I am moving on with my life! I'm putting this hobby behind me, kids. Just kidding. Oh, no! I spoke too soon. I was a too soon speaker. All right, let's try this again. We're going to go right through here. We're going to walk the tightrope. Okay, it won't let you take the gun. I think that might be a baton of some sorts. Uh, or it's probably the reason why the tightrope is there. It's in the past. Who cares? We're moving on. We're escaping from the underwater base because the underwater base is not a place that you want to live because it's underwater and it's hard to breathe when you run out of air and I'm jumping, 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 jumping. Don't jump that way. Don't fall in there. Don't do it, Grapefruit. Okay, did it. Made it. All right. Hey, where's the, uh, yes, yes, we need a check mark. Checkpoint. Checkpoint Charlie. What are you going to say now, pal? This place has uh -huh. high security. Uh, oh, 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 okay. You say? You yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. We're moving along. And we're walking the plank. All kinds of planks. Conveniently put here so I can get through the obby. I get it. I get it. I get it. Look at this. The, the design is pretty amazing. I gotta say, productive Mr. Duck is very productive with his design. What's it say? Don't go through here. Oh, you gotta. Oh, press the C4. C4. I'm gonna see. You later. <laughs> Boom, baby. I exploded it. You didn't do that, lady. I did that. Oh, I swam to... Oh, that has got to be cold water. Oof. Uh, it's hard to swim. Look out for the landmines. Or they're actually not landmines. They're sea mines because they're underwater and I can see them. <laughs> Don't touch the lasers. I'm not usually this good at swimming, so this is probably like a record for me. And we're going to go right through the hole here. I can hold my breath... Probably longer than anybody ever. Okay, well, I guess I just, the I'm just right back where, uh, <laughs> it, I didn't see how I got up there, but I'll take it. Okay, look out for the spears. Look at my awesome shirt and my awesome build. I am so strong and awesome. It, it's, it's, it's hard being the grapefruit, you know what it is? You know, but not really because, you know, I came to this place being an awesome person and I'm going to leave this place being an awesome person. Look out! At oh, I almost ran right through it. I didn't want to... I didn't want to push it, kids. All right, let's let's go to checkpoint, Charlie, and we're done. Okay, we're being very productive, Mr. Duck. Quack 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 and lack. I don't know what that means. Hey, oh, look like a bloody pool. Mm. Ooh, ooh, I read about that. Get it read? <laughs> oh, and I just okay. You that was not fair. It made me push to the left. Do you see that? This, you can't even tell. It's kind of like a little conveyor belt action going. It was a little sneaky move by Mr. Duckworth. But we're going to just jump in here. And we're going to make it to the other side. Because, oh, we're not. We're going to fall in the pool of blood. Oh, pool of blood. It is disgusting. And it is uh, terrifying. And oh, well, now it's going to the right. Is it random now? This is getting out of hand, kids. And there's my hand on the ground in the pool of blood. All right. right, let's. I went the wrong way anyway. I went backwards. Let's not do that again. Hi, how are you? Tell me more about this thing. This room is Dr. Oshaman's lair. Good luck getting through there. Yeah, I don't need luck, pal, okay? Because I'm awesome, okay? This is Ocean Man's... Oh, boy, this does look a little bit more advanced. You know, kind of like my skill set! 
Anyways, let's see if we can get to the middle. Look at that. There's a there's a checkpoint in the middle. Productive Mr. Duck. I want a duck hat like that. And that is one tight rope. This is crazy. Don't you know? I'm just gonna plow through it. I don't. I hopefully I don't get hit. That would stink if I did. But I didn't, and I'm awesome. Checkpoint for me. Checkpoint for me. Not you, but me. And <laughs> oh man, these lasers are inconvenient. And if you touch them, you die. So. You know, just wanted to give you an FYI there, kids. All right, FYI, uh, if you touch the lasers, you're dead. <laughs> anyway. How you doing today, kids? What's your favorite? What, was that SpongeBob out there? I think it was. Anyways, uh, how, what's your favorite hobby that you've ever played? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and maybe I'll play it next time, you know? <laughs> I'm taking requests now for Roblox, because I'm the best Roblox player in the history of Roblox. What the heck is this? That is one ugly Dr. Ocean Man. Okay, so you jump on his... Kind of reminds me of Doc Ock, in a way. Blue. That, and, uh, I died. That is... That is inconvenient for me. I don't like being a pool of bloody bones, but occasionally that happens to Roblox. Even to the best players! Because I, I just claim being the best Roblox player of all time. Which is probably true. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to reset there. You know what? I'm gonna kill myself so I can go back to the other checkpoint. You see what I did there? Only advanced Roblox players would use that technique. Just so you know. <laughs> I'm amazing! Okay, we gotta get out of this this level. So, you jump down on the Doc Ox arm. And you gotta go over to this... Okay, what are we doing here, pal? What are you doing? Oh, climb, climb, climb. That's what we're doing. Climbing to the top. We're climbing to the top. And checkpoint Charlie me! Uh-oh, this, is, this one's gonna be hard. Watch. There's no way I'm making it. Oh, no, no! Can I do it this time? Oh, man, come on! Grapefruit, time to use your powers! Your Roblox powers! Your Super Roblox powers! Oh, no, I'm gonna get roasted again. Don't get roasted again! Don't do it! I don't wanna get roasted! No roasting it! Am I gonna get roasted? Oh, I got roasted at the end! Did I land on it? Oh, come on! Come on! I gotta do it again, this time for sure. Super Roblox powers, super Roblox powers, gonna jump the lasers, cause I'm totally awesome. Super Roblox powers, gonna jump the lasers, gonna get that easily, cause I'm awesome. <laughs> I was just practicing, so super obby skills going through here, kids. I love jumping over lasers, and, you know, sometimes, just for fun, I, I, I jump into them. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, so let's do some serious laser jumping, kids. We gotta get through this base. We've gotta escape from this underwater base. By the way, what was I doing down here in this underwater base in the first place? Let's see what this guy had to say. Ocean Man was really ready for us. Now we have to get to the core ASAP. Oh, now we gotta get to the core ASAP. Not before. Not before. Look out for the blood. The blood rising. This is one sick underwater base. By the way, uh, the engineering feat for this underwater base is quite astounding. I, only reason I died there was because I was distracted by the engineering marvel that is this underwater base. We're gonna wait. We're gonna be patient. Uh, the rising levels of blood in, you know, the water, the poison blood, if you will, uh, is, uh, well, it's distracting, it's disturbing, it's astounding, and we're gonna move on, kids! All right, so, let's see. I'm gonna have to make a B-line here. Actually, it's an L-line. See, like, this looks like an upside-down L, and you take a right, there you go. And then the other one over here is like a backwards L. So there's no B-lines whatsoever. I don't know why I would say B-line. It's an L-line. <laughs> and I'm safe. Checkpoint Charlie, and now I gotta guess. Do I have to guess? I do have to guess. Ooh, that was a good guess. All right, maybe they all, maybe they all work. That, okay, jump it, jump it. Don't play the trumpet. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this is really disturbing. Um, moving lasers. By the way, why would you make a laser trap that was escapable very easily like that? I know it's a game. I'm just saying. Give me a break. Look at this. That one's pretty clever. Ooh, it's mesmerizing. I feel, I feel, I feel like it's, it's hypnotizing me into being the best obby player of all time. Yep, that's what it is. That's what's happening. Best Dobby player ever. Just proved it. Didn't even get dead once in that one. And we're running towards the end. Look how cool I look! I always look so cool in my awesome shirt. I wear myself on myself to remind myself how awesome I am. <laughs> all right, it's getting very tense here, and we gotta, we gotta really pay attention. All right, the, the tension is palpable. Attention, tension, whatever. I'm saying the same thing over and over again. 
And here we go. Oh, you got something to say, pal? This is it. When you deactivate the core, we will have to run from the blast. The whole base will get destroyed, so we don't want to stay here. While running, watch out for explosions and the breeze. All right, let's pick up the pace then. See you later, pal. Whoa, this looks like a very important piece of equipment that might destroy the entire universe. Or not, just run away from it. Just get, stay away from it, Creepy. That's where I was. Okay, that, wait, don't go this way. That's where I came from. Stupid. Anyways, <laughs> I was talking to myself, all right? And sometimes I don't feel very, very, um, what do I say? Intellectually capable. That was uh, another way of saying stupid. But anyways, let's run it to the top. Oh, I see what's going on here. We're gonna, we're gonna see destruction firsthand. Let's do it. Checkpoint. Press the button. Blow this thing up. Let's blow this taco stand. Also, if this is a taco stand, it is a very inconvenient taco stand. All right, it's off. It's off. Let's run. All right, it's gonna explode. It's gonna explode, I say. It's exploding. I'm exploding with joy and glee to beat this level. Let's go. Everything's blowing up. Jump over the lasers. Way too many lasers, by the way. These are very easy lasers to jump over. Just saying, if you're gonna build an underwater base, you might wanna put a little bit of time into your laser building skills. All right, because if they're supposed to be traps, well, they're not working all that great. Look at this, rocks everywhere. We gotta get out of here, man. Also, if there's rocks inside, you'd think there'd be a water breach and that I wouldn't be able to get past any of this because it would be like water. Oh, there's the water. <laughs> I called it. And uh, hopefully I can hold my breath. Uh, long enough to not die. That'd be cool. Um, hello? Okay, get to the top. We're escaping from the underwater base. Could this be the end? I don't know. It could be close. I feel like it's close. It's gotta be close. We're no longer underwater. We're on the beach and we won! Amazing, kids. Amazing. Let's go check out the, the island. Wait, am I stranded on an island? Did I just escape an underwater base just to be stranded on a, a, on a desert island? Oh, probably. Oh, man, that is some that is some weird stuff right there. What does this guy got to say for himself? You guys have anything to say, pal? You did it! Thank you very much for the help on this mission. Dr. Oshiman has been stopped, and the world can now rest peacefully again. You're dang right it can, because I saved the world on the grapefruit on the best ever, and we'll see you next time, kids. Oh, yeah!